Welcome back to my channel Salut les amis, bienvenue et bon retour sur ma chaîne Hola, bienvenue là à mon canal Konnichiwa, watashi no chanero ni yakuso I hope you're doing fine today, this is another day, another video of me <laughs> Before going any further, don't forget to subscribe, it's free, full of adventure, I love giving fashion related advice and being a stylist it's all about sharing and expressing more about fashion but more than that self-confidence. Really big on it, I think it's just a great way to just like build up your own self-confidence. You have no reason not to subscribe, it's free. I'm just saying. And that, don't forget to turn on the notification button so that you can get notified every time a single video is out there. How wonderful is that? And today I was coming with another chatty video and it was regarding 10 main fashion myths up in a certain environment and tell us what's where, what's not where, what. And the first thing I need to say about the first biggest lie that is lie today. Biggest myth in terms of fashion is to mix in gold and metal together. Yes! I said it. Guess what people, it's not true anymore. You can do that, you can break it down, but again, it's a matter of you being comfortable doing it. It's a great way to just like bring out that modern vibe, that modern touch. Carrying more and more gold and uh, silver combined type of jewelry pieces, so you kind of find a lot of them nowadays. But the key here is to kind of um, mix match in a way where it was like not that in intentional, you know. You can get some silver, golden earrings or just necklaces or just have a set of fur uh, and golden like bangles or bracelets try to just like combine them a little bit more like in a subtle statement thing it's just gonna be part of the outfit so that people are just gonna see it as a whole second fashion myth that I think is just a myth today is that tall women can't wear heels that's probably because it was more to do with other women um, being not that much confident because they were that tall. The society where we live and most societies in general, the guy is the tallest. The guy ideally would be taller than the girl. So when a girl is really tall, she feels not as confident and she feels like for her to be able to meet that kind of ideal taller guy, it would be even more difficult for her because she's that tall. Definitely heels are a great way to just structure the way you're walking, structure even your shape to just make you look taller you kind of bring a vibe when you have heels and we have so many types of heels to be honest and I'm not saying that you should wear heels all the time and I love the most about heels is that like I said they give a structure they give a grace they give that feminine vibe of it it's all about the vibe that comes with it more than just the high you're gonna gain because of it the taller woman would be like look at michelle obama freaking tall already but whenever she has the heels on she's just giving it she just oh just look at her just like yes girl the thing about heels being your friend and not your enemies and i think it's most like i said related to you how you feel about them and that kind of message where because you're tall you can't wear hell that much because like you're gonna be like taller than everybody else and wear them so bring it you can rock them so definitely rock them I'm just saying. The third fashion myth that I think, and I grew up with it, like now you can do that, is to mix match prints. I love my mom to death, and she definitely is a stylish woman. Mixing matching patterns, mixing matching prints, it's just not something that she saw as being something good because she was raised like that it's a part of the culture it's a part of her background it's a generation vintage comeback has made it even more possible and more okay to do it watch my last video on how to mix match prints you have to think about a certain type of prints there's still some rules based on that so if you want to see more definitely get and watch that video because it was so interesting i love love doing it i love mixing matching prints in general so it was just normal for me to do it like much bigger and really really complex patterns the two of them are gonna clash against each other not in a really nice way that obviously you can do that you just can kill it but there's a way to do it of the course and fashion meet I will talk about here is sequence that you can wear any sequence during the day which is totally untrue and which I grew up with as well biggest biggest fear of all because I was thought that having sequence during the day just just make you look 
more tacky it's gonna be standing out way too much for the day so you can't do that again of course like everything has a rule and even there you have certain rules to follow when it comes to having during the day the sequin dress that you can wear to go to club you clearly can't wear it during the day like just let's be clear here like no you can't like yeah it's not yeah like, just be careful with people's eyes here it's not the point a top for example that just have a little bit of sequence or you can wear that with a jean it would give you that casual look from the get-go you can have a sequin skirt and that's probably what people we do a lot more now and you have a cardigan or a sweater on top of it where we just gonna see a part of the skirt and it's not gonna be overwhelming to the eye so that's something else that you can do always think of it as just adding a bit of a touch without having the whole outfit because it's still the day um, it could be a really big statement earrings but the rest is like super casual always want to balance it out that's what i want to say here otherwise yes it's not gonna look appropriate for the day that's all i'm gonna say to that the you know. fifth one is you can't wear more than one bulk color the important message here is to always remember that all about a person wearing them you definitely can wear more than one ball color Let's look at Beyonce's sister Solange Knowles feet are just standing out so much I mean, they always always look great so if you're not there yet you can pair any ball color with something much more neutral and it's gonna balance it out a little bit something really yellow trying to just like balance it out with something let's say much more like maybe peachy it's gonna give a contrast what you want to achieve at the end of the day is just to create a contrast it's gonna make the difference between you and somebody else in the street or just like that what what did she do and how did she do it saying that it's okay to wear more than one ball color rules for it want to see videos on that or if you want me to explain even more further on how you can do them definitely let me know and i'm gonna be more than glad to do it colorful as a person you have a really colorful personality people are gonna see through your clothes and that's gonna be a way to express yourself without even saying a word people can read your outfits and see who you are just based on that so the sixth fashion myth that we have here is to always match your bag with your shoes i don't even know where that thing was created to be honest what why <laughs> you can wear so much with like mixing matching of course pairing the bag and the shoes i think it's still a great way to have that kind of sophisticated look but when doing that you have to make sure that everything around it has to be modern it's really something from the past to pair shoes and bags to be honest i'm not even gonna lie you can have a really modern clutch for example and have it paired with something much more classy but around it is gonna be more modern or you can add a hat for example that's just gonna play and bring a fun to it you have to think about like accessorizing with the scarf because scarf has been so big this year modern sophisticated touch like i like to say with a belt like a printed belt play with so much more around it so that people don't even see it so yes you can do it you definitely can do it but you can actually do the opposite too it's a way to do it but you can do both ways but always keep everything that i said in mind the seven biggest fashion made that i've like encountered too navy and blue don't mix match definitely pled guilty of thinking that and i think it's really 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 <laughs> so paid for me to even think about it to keep on like they kill it you know they kill it they kill it they kill it you know so where that thing comes from you myth and that you definitely can match it you can pair them but play with maybe brighter accessories or if you want to keep it a little bit more brighter if you want people to read it you can eat it with prints because prints we're gonna be able to read your outfit a little bit more it's not gonna be just dark and dark you definitely can do that the eighth biggest fashion myth that i've got to have is that everything is gonna look great on you if you taller or skinny or both actually it just get me so frustrated because being a stylist having to just learn more and more about like fashion or the way people can get dressed and get dressed better for their shapes or silhouette still today women complaining about the way that something is not gonna fit them because they are not that skinny or as tall i think the first thing you need to remember here is that 
something that's gonna look good on me is not necessarily gonna look good on you not because of you it's not you it's the clothes try to think about it see how it's gonna make sense for you perfect body has to be tall has to be skinny has to be this has to be that sadly enough in stores you're gonna have much more options regarding skinnier or taller woman because it's society but with with more like weight of course they're not gonna feel included in it the references are gonna be body shapes they don't have that's the problem that kind of cut is not gonna look great on you because of the cut because of the way it's been made not because of you you have to find cuts that are great for your body shape some people with more curves than actually rock a certain type of outfits that skinnier girls like me we are not gonna rock because we don't have the same body type so keep that in mind whenever you need to shop shop for your body not for what society puts as the ideal body because that's where the frustration comes from actually the ninth biggest fashion made that have just frustrates me even more is that you get what you pay for yes i said it i'm gonna say it even more and i'm gonna say that it's true for some cases but it's not all the time you get in your 30s for example you're getting you're starting to get much more careful on whatever you're gonna pay big bigger brand pieces we immediately think about brands or these designers are being so big and because you're gonna pay that much it's gonna be great quality the more i educate myself more on the fabrics and know what you actually paying for is to educate yourself google is here for a reason internet is here for a reason youtube is here for a reason you don't have that much access to internet or information altogether so you have access to all of that so there's not an excuse for you to not know what's really going on behind these designers or brands or like stores you're loving that much I'm not saying that i will stop buying anything from zara like now i'm just saying that i know more about the fabric they would use and i can get a little bit more in depth with it let me know if you like it Those a lot of damage to the planet fast fashion yes 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 you can buy really great designer fabrics and they could be great quality but learn the story behind them and i don't want to name any bigger designer here but i've recently watched a documentary on fruit cuts and stuff and how they actually made it from all the way to china to start it doesn't cost much to actually make it like from china to torture the animals and when i say torture them for some parts i couldn't even watch it animal yes but you can't do that it's not even the fact that they're killing the animals it's just the fact that they torture them to kill them because at the end of the day if i need to feed myself that's what god actually taught us to do that's the way i said but from the moment that you torture and kill animals for the only sake of just looking good and nothing more than that that's why i just say no and that was a big brand let me tell you that that was a big brand and that was a brand that actually i love because i love the style and stuff and it's european really love the stuff i can tell you that from that moment i was like i'm never 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 try to educate yourself it's not because it's branded it's not because it's designer made that it's necessarily good and well made the quality is something that you need to think about but more than that is the story behind the brand the glass fashion myth if you want to create a really hourglass figure you need to cinch in your waist false <laughs> not totally false because at the end of the day i think you can still cinch in your waist and have that hourglass figure i'm not saying that it's totally untrue i'll have different body shapes so else that you can do when it comes to just like creating that silhouette is to play with the prints play with the patterns but the patterns are gonna be created to just distract the eye to just not pay attention to the waist as much create confusion and illusion in order to create it because pattern is another way to do it certain items certain clothes 
are a way to do it as well cape vest they're gonna be a really nice way to just create it really don't think about like just the belt being the main thing here because the belly is not the main thing here I'm just saying I hope you liked the video I hope you enjoyed the video let me know what you thought about it let me know if you had any styling question or any comment about all of these fashion myths or if you have some fashion myths yourself you can bring it here we can discuss about it have a debate about it it's going to be fun because i'm gonna love it i love debating i just love it if you have any styling ideas or any styling question you would have to me let me know i'm gonna be more than glad to do a video related to that i'm gonna wish you a really nice great weekend enjoy your family and i'm gonna see you next week and as i say all the time smile because it's free and contagious <laughs> bye